reading from the Sutra on Loving Kindness. This is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness and who knows the path of peace. Let them be able and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech, humble and not conceited, contented and easily satisfied, unburdened with duties and frugal in their ways, peaceful and calm and wise and skillful, not proud and demanding in nature. Let them not do the slightest thing that the wise would later reprove, wishing in gladness and safety, may all beings be at ease. Whatever living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, the great or the mighty, medium, short, or small, the seen and the unseen, those living near and far away, those born and to be born, omitting none, may all beings be at ease. Stacy and Ronnie, as you prepare to proclaim your marriage vows, know this, the Buddhist teaching, that marriage has four functions, to bring joy and happiness to both partners, to fulfill basic biological needs within a moral framework, to provide companionship, and to produce material well-being. The Buddha advised husbands and wives to love each other, be attentive and courteous to each other, be faithful, trustworthy, and devoted to each other, be honest with each other. Remember to cultivate gratitude for the profound gift of your union and to reflect on your time together with a heart of gladness and deep gratitude. I wish you the best of health and happiness, long and happy with his life. And we love you. We love you both. And the best of happiness to them all. Thank you. Okay, Stace, Ron, love you guys. Good luck in your travels. Be safe and get back home to us. Okay? Love you.